hello guys how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming again guys i appreciate your presence last time i just want to say thank you uh, i will do my best to be giving you better for contents i hope you love what you're watching too uh, please if you like it uh, don't hesitate to give the video a thumbs up and uh, I share the video and uh, leave a comment in the comment section for me if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe leave the red button on yeah today I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the disturbing videos I saw on the Facebook. Uh, yeah, I got, the I got this video on the Facebook and I feel like to analyze it a little bit. Uh, I just want to say something, I just want to say my mind. Uh, because I, I, I knew uh, a, a day like this will come. Um, I, I, I never doubt my mind, I never doubt my instinct because I, I strongly believe that uh, white men never love, they never love black people. It's just that some of our leaders are so selfish and stupid, they can't, they can't, they can't read, be, be, you know, they can't see what is happening. They can't see what is coming for them. Uh, they still behaving like a puppet. I don't blame them because you can see there are some of their reaction even in Africa too. Some of their way, the way they are behaving in Africa also will tell you the way they are behaving with the white people. You see what I'm, the video I'm going to show you right now is so disheartening. I feel a little bit shock and pain. Uh, in short, I feel, I feel angry. If this is what white people are thinking about Africa, that means we are, we, are, we are finished as a race. Africa must rise up and face the reality, you know what I mean? It, it, to, to say the truth, if African people should, 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 should stop taking, uh, should not welcome this uh, COVID-19 vaccine, I think that should be much better. But you see, when we, when we, when we, when we that see future, we reason and say something that we, that we benefit for Africa, some people will come to, 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 to counter I don't know if African government can wake up and say, oh, we don't need uh, this vaccine because I think uh, this is their real plan. People, uh, uh, what, there was a time I listened to Nam De Khan, he said something that they're going to wipe Africa away with one thing or the other, with one sickness or the other. And, and uh, I think they're beginning to come out right now. If something like this can come out from a white guy precisely, honestly, we are, we are finished as a race. Possess a big danger and uh, people should wake up and, uh, and do the need for. I don't know if we already have government, 54 continents. 54 countries without a brain. That's what I call Africa. They don't have any common brain. Everything must come from abroad, including the food. So disheartened. You know, just listen to this one and see what they are trying to say. They say they want, according to their foreign policy, their job is to wipe out Africa because Africa has numerous mineral resources. So they never want anything good. They never want anything meaningful to come from Africa. They want Africa to continue to be a slave. That's why they don't even care whether they treat us bad in China or in Singapore, in anywhere. They, nobody, you will not see CNN talking about it. They will only say, oh, this bunch of fools. And you can see right now the, the, their aims, the ambition, what they have in mind for us. This is going to wipe us, they want to clean us because of mineral resources. It's too painful, too disheartened, man. Yeah, I'm going to put the video down below. You're going you're gonna to watch it too. We're going to watch it together. Because we, I, I'll put it there, we can watch it together. I want, I want us to analyze it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Which to this day, it remains the official policy of the American government. It has not changed. Mm -hmm. It may not be implemented by mm -hmm. Trump, but it remains the same. That uh, the purpose of the foreign policy in Africa was to uh, reduce the, the population. So to give aid to countries in Africa, not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that, but uh, contraception and abortion, in order to shrink the population of Africa because they have great mineral resources there. That sounds diabolical. It I mean, is, I, I, yes. That sounds like something conceived in the mind of Margaret Sanger. Yeah, definitely. And so the, uh, at the time, Kissinger and those involved with the Carter administration wanted to shrink the population, make sure that the Africans do not develop and do not use the resources for themselves, because we in the States, we need them. There is a, a concerted effort of foreign powers to uh, control the population of Africa. Africa is a huge continent, mm. could, could feed thousands of more people, but the uh, policies of the West, especially in, in Europe, for example, between 1990 and the year 2000, the United States, Canada, and Europe contributed about $6 billion in contraceptives, not to help the people, not to give clean water, clean food. Uh, mm -hmm. That is uh, not, not to fight malaria, for example. No, of course, perish the thought, never. Yeah. Let them die. That's the whole idea. 
So in our work in HLI, we denounce this reality to make the Africans aware that they have to defend themselves against the, the influence of foreign powers. Is it, is it just the United States, or do you believe that China is also playing a role um, in, in jockeying for the resources of Africa? China is playing a major role because China is buying property in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in Mozambique, which is a Portuguese-speaking uh, language country, they, uh, when Portugal was in charge of Mozambique, they used to export rice. Now they are importing rice from China. Mm. because they cannot produce. The, the socialism has wrecked the, the production of, of rice. And the Chinese come and buy farms. So about uh, almost a third of Mozambique belongs to China. So uh, I was in other countries of mm. Africa, the same reality in Scary. South Africa. The Chinese are buying property, buying land in Africa. So and they, they send mm. their own workers, the Chinese workers. They don't employ people over the place. They have send their own workers to populate and to live. <laughs> yeah, Africans. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you love what you just see right now. Um, I hope you, in your mind, I know so many things have been going on in your memory right now because uh, this is unbelievable, you know. We Africans, we are busy fighting ourselves and then, you know, talking about uh, tribes and all the rest. Why the white people are busy uh, thinking how to wipe us away? You see, I don't know how to describe African problem, but I only believe that Africa should go back and negotiate. We should we should discuss about Africa again because it's not working, and it's not gonna work. In order to to, to avoid all these enemies coming into our life, we should work so fast to 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 you know to rebuild Africa. People should go back to where they where they are before the white men came into Africa. This is my own suggestion. I don't know about you. You can tell me your own in the comment section.